we maintain that the 13th amendment cannot be the basis for a solution cannot be the starting point for a solution as well as that it can't be part of an incremental process towards finding a solution this is based on a reading of uh, the 13th amendment not just in terms of its black and white contents as it's found in the constitution but also in terms of the developments that have taken place since the 13th amendment uh, was added to the constitution uh, particularly the case law relating to the 13th amendment and the praxis for the 13th amendment in terms of administrative and executive practice it is also because obviously uh, because the 13th amendment remains within a unitary structure uh, that is uh, which is the bedrock of the 1978 constitution within which we believe uh, no solution can be found now i don't want to go into the details of why the 13th amendment is a fundamentally flawed document i have uh, done it elsewhere but because of the reason that we think that it's a fundamentally flawed document we believe that it can't be a starting point nor part of an incremental process and that a solution uh, to the tamil problem needs to start uh, on a, on a fresh note on a clean slate uh, and this means drafting a new constitution now as to the question as to what does the tamil civil society and i'll rather answer this question personally uh, think that a starting point can be we believe that there is a pre constitutional issue here what do i mean by a pre constitutional issue uh, before the tamil side can get into a debate and discussion and negotiation with the sri lankan state on the question of the kind of institutions that would accommodate the tamil nation within the island of sri lanka a sri lankan state we believe that it is important that the southern polity the singular nation in particular recognize that the tamils are a nation who are entitled to self determination uh, within their traditional homeland we say that this is important because the sustainability of any institutional form or process that we come up with in negotiations with the sri lankan government can only be stable if it is based on a social contract between the different nations of sri lanka particularly the singhalese uh tamils and the muslims so on and so forth and that unless the idea of a parity of status of nations coming together is is the bedrock of a new constitution is a bedrock of a is the, is the understanding based on which we go for a new dispensation of the sri lankan state we believe uh, that a solution need not uh, may, may not be arrived at for example there might be a federal constitution for example that you can come up with without actually working on this pre constitutional question Uh, but if the singhalese uh, we, uh, and they will continue to remain a two thirds majority if a new government comes in they decide to sort of uh, ab- uh, abrogate uh, the constitution and uh, repeal the constitution and come up with a new one there is nothing that will stop them from doing so and this is why we say there has to be an international underwriting to the recognition on the part of the singhalese nation of the distinctiveness of the tamil nation of the right to self determination so on so forth because that will only guarantee us a permanent solution uh, to the national question